Do you want to solve the puzzle hunt event and find all the puzzle pieces, but you just don't know where to start? You came to the right place. Hey Bears, I am the Gaming Chris Lee and welcome back to Harry Potter Magic Awakened. Okay, the puzzle hunt event. It's quite a challenge, but let's get right into it. Puzzle piece number one can be found in the Crate Hall. You can find the Crate Hall by flying towards the Dueling Club. Once you have entered the Crate Hall, you want to go to the dining tables on your left side. Behind these dining tables you can find a pumpkin and upon clicking on this pumpkin you will start the first challenge for puzzle piece number one. For this challenge all you have to do is you have to carry a pumpkin into a blue circle. But there are a few mice trying to attack you and trying to prevent you from bringing that pumpkin into the circle. I also want to mention that this video took me quite some time to create so I would highly appreciate a fat like. A comment in the comment section below what you think about these challenges and of course if you are new make sure to subscribe to the gaming Chrisley. Alright after you finish the pumpkin challenge you will be rewarded with your first puzzle piece. Puzzle piece number two can be obtained by talking to Robin who is flying above the castle. So all you have to do is you have to fly your broom all the way up here, talk to Robin and she wants you to do some practice for the next Quidditch match. This challenge is not really a challenge because you just have to fly along the ways. You don't really have to avoid any obstacles or anything and as soon as you have made it through the entire I think one minute course you will get puzzle piece number two. For puzzle piece number three you have to look to the right side of the castle. Here you can see the sea and also a little peak that reminds me a little bit of Italy. You want to fly your broom all the way to that peak and there you can find a golden light. As soon as you tap it you have puzzle piece number three. For puzzle piece number four you want to fly to the right side of the castle where you can find the herbology classroom. Once you entered the classroom you want to go to the gnome with the puzzle piece symbol above his head. Clicking on the symbol will start the battle. This battle is actually fairly easy because you are given a deck with 4 cards, a pre-selected deck that you can use in this fight. So therefore you don't have to worry if you don't have the right spells. At the same time all you have to do is you have to try to hit as many gnomes as possible but if you are not defeating them all that's fine too. Sometimes you will take damage but even with taking a little bit of damage you will finish this mission. Just don't die. And this is how you get puzzle piece number 4. For puzzle piece number 5 you need to go to the main building which you can find near the dueling club. After entering the main building go to the right and upstairs. Here you can find the portrait of William. As soon as you have talked to William he will reward you with puzzle piece number 5. For puzzle piece number 6 we are gonna stay in the main building. We are gonna go upstairs until we reach the first moving staircase. We are gonna stand in the middle of that staircase and as soon as it is moving there should be a golden light coming up and as soon as you tap that golden light there it is you are gonna get puzzle piece number 6. For puzzle piece number 7 we have to go to the crate hall again which we can find near the dueling club. This time we have to go to the dining table on the right side where we can find the NPC Robin. Robin wants to challenge us to a duel. This duel is actually using our own deck so bring your best cards to just defeat her and as soon as you defeated her you will be rewarded with the puzzle piece you want. Puzzle piece number 8 can be found in the Diagon Alley. We can go there by clicking on the mini map in the top right which will open up the map of Hogwarts. But we can also change to Diagon Alley. So let's go there. Once we are in the Diagon Alley we want to go almost all the way up and on the left side we can see Weasley's Wizard Weezers. And as soon as we have entered the store all we have to do is we have to change our camera to the left and there we can see the golden light which is puzzle piece number 8. For puzzle piece number 9 we are gonna stay in the Diagon Alley but this time we are gonna go all the way up until we reach the wizarding bank. Now go into the center right area of the bank and here we can see 3 golden coins laying on the ground. You just have to pick them up and this will give you the next puzzle piece. Puzzle piece number 10 is one of the more complex puzzle pieces to obtain. First of all we want to start out in our dorm because here we can create potions. The potion that we are looking for is the invisibility potion. If you are not already having the recipe you can easily just buy it in the shop. The same goes for the materials that you need to create the invisibility potion. You can just buy them in the shop. After creating the invisibility potion go to your potion kit and drink it. Now that we are invisible we want to go to the main building. And from here we want to go all the way up. The path is quite simple. At the first moving staircase we want to turn right. As we can see in the video the staircase has to go right so we can continue going all the way up. And there is a second moving staircase but that staircase is not necessarily a problem for us because it only points in that one direction. We have to wait until it moves and here we are at the headmistress's office. 
And now we are in the office. From here we just have to go to the right to the castle corridors and we will find a golden light that will give us the next puzzle piece. For the next puzzle piece, puzzle piece 11, we want to go yet again into the main building. But this time we are going downstairs where we can find the rooms of the different clubs. Starting with the Hufflepuff common room followed by the Slytherin common room. Here we want to pay attention because halfway these stairs we find another golden light which will give us the next puzzle piece. Puzzle piece number 12 was, at least for me, the most difficult puzzle piece to obtain. Starting at the castle we want to look to the left where we can see a church down at the sea. We want to go to that church because in front of it we can see the NPC Cassandra who wants to invite us to a dance. And that is where it gets a little bit difficult because that dance is actually quite challenging. You have to play the song A Long Journey Awaits, which is quite a beautiful song, but it's also very, very difficult. I personally never made it over a C rank and a C rank is not enough to get the puzzle piece from Cassandra. So Cassandra will be disappointed and you have to do the song again. I did it again, I did it again and I did it again. I was never able to get above the C rating and I thought that's it. I will never get better than a C rating so therefore I will never get that puzzle piece. But this is where I was wrong. I was trying it one more time which was I think my fifth time and after losing five times in a row I was rewarded with the puzzle piece. So hopefully you will be able to get an S rank and you will immediately get the puzzle piece or you just have to fail it five times and you will get it thanks to the pity. For puzzle piece number 13 we have to go back to the wizarding bank in the Diagon Alley. This time we have to go all the way into the spec area where we can find another golden light and as soon as we are tapping that golden light we will have another puzzle piece. At least that one was easier. Puzzle piece 14 can be found in the history of magic classroom, so we have to go back to the main building. Starting from the entrance, we want to go upstairs until we find the first moving staircase. This time we are not going to the right, this time we are going straight. Because then we can go downstairs again by going to the right. Just have to wait until the staircase is done moving. And here I think I found something which I wasn't sure what it was. It was just some gems. But we are almost there. We just have to go all the way down right here. And then we can see the entrance to the history of magic classroom. And from here all we have to do is we have to go behind the teacher's desk. Where we can find the golden light that will give us the next puzzle piece. Puzzle piece number 15 can also be found in the main building. This time we have to defeat Professor McGonagall in the defense against the dark arts classroom. Upon entering the classroom you have to turn around where you can already see Professor McGonagall waiting for you. She has the puzzle piece sign above her head and as soon as you click it you can enter the fight. This fight will happen with a card set that is given to you. So you can't really use your own cards, you just have to use the cards that are given to you. Therefore, it's not too difficult because obviously with these cards you are able to win. After winning against Professor McGonagall, you will get your puzzle piece. Puzzle piece 16 is quite similar. This time you have to fight and win against Hagrid. Hagrid's hut as well as Hagrid can be found on the right side of the castle where you can see the hut in a little bit of a distance and you have to fly all the way there where you can see Hagrid standing outside his building. He has the puzzle piece symbol above his head and as soon as you click it you will enter the fight. For this match against Hagrid you are also getting a preset of cards which means you can't bring your own cards. But since this is a preset it should be quite easy for you to defeat Hagrid without any problems and therefore get your next puzzle piece. Puzzle piece number 17 and yes I am well aware that I have said the words puzzle and piece around a million times in this video already but we just keep going. Puzzle piece number 17 can be found in the main building. From here you want to go downstairs where you can find the Hufflepuff room and here we have the portrait that you just have to talk to and that will give you the next part of the mystery game. See, I can't really, I can't really say anything else. It's, it's a puzzle piece. We got, we got another puzzle piece. For puzzle piece number 18 we want to go to the Quidditch pitch. The Quidditch pitch is right behind the castle so you want to use your broom and fly all the way over there. Once you have entered the center of the stadium, you will find the golden snitch. Now all you have to do is you have to click on the golden snitch. I personally had a little bit of issues when I was standing on the field and tapping on the golden snitch. So therefore getting on my broom and then tapping on the snitch was definitely helping me out. Puzzle piece number 19 is located in the Herbology classroom. As soon as you enter the classroom you can find a little wiggling plant and as soon as you tap on that plant you will get the puzzle piece. 
Puzzle Beast 20 can be found in the Diagon Alley again. Here we just have to turn our camera to the right and right next to the quality Quidditch supplies we will see a golden light coming up which will give us the puzzle piece. For puzzle piece number 21 we're gonna stay in the Diagon Alley and we are going to Madame Malkin's rope store. And right in front the staircase inside the wall we can see the golden light which will provide us with the puzzle piece. Now we can go to the quality Quidditch supplies for puzzle piece number 22. As soon as we have entered, all we have to do is we have to go to the staircase again and we will find the golden light on the floor that will give us the next puzzle piece. For puzzle piece number 23, you have to fly to the tree that is on the right side of the castle. At the foot of this tree you can see Kevin. As soon as you engage with Kevin, you have to fight against the tree with your own deck. And since you can bring your own deck, I want to give you some recommendations. First of all, stay away from the tree. It deals high physical damage as soon as you're getting too close. That also means bring a lot of magic skills that you can use from a distance. If you bring summoning spells, for example the mountain troll, it will stand no chance against the tree. The tree will immediately attack the troll and destroy it. Therefore, the best damage you can deal against the tree is by using magic spells from a distance. And as soon as you have defeated the tree, you will be rewarded with a birthday cake. Happy birthday to you! Just kidding, you will get another puzzle piece. And for the last and most easy puzzle piece in the puzzle hunt, we have to go yet again into the main building. Here you can already see the portrait of Clara Thompson. You have to talk to Clara and that's it. That is the last puzzle piece. Now that we have completed the puzzle hunt, we can finally collect our rewards, which contains 8000 gold, as well as one art piece for our collection room, as well as one artwork of the opal eye for our art book. I hope this video helped you out to collect all the puzzle pieces that you needed for the puzzle hunt. If so, make sure to leave me a fat like, leave me a comment in the comment section below what the most difficult puzzle piece to obtain was for you. For me, it was definitely the dance with Cassandra because that was just impossible for me and of course if you are new subscribe to the gaming chrisley i hope you all have a fantastic day and i will see you in the next video bye bye